Hi there. So I'm going to show you a preview of PaintX, a new plugin from Cormelt that is coming soon in the summer, we believe. That is Northern Hemisphere summer since I'm an Antipodean. Uh, and to make clear, it will be a plugin. Um, this preview I'm showing you is uh, a test app we're using, but when it releases, it will be a plugin like our other products. So, First of all, this is tracked paint, uh, where every stroke is editable after you make it. And one thing first to mention is that paint in this way is useful even without tracking. So we have a locked off shot here. And let's say the director for some reason didn't like some of the cracks here. They wanted just to make it look more smooth. I mean, yeah, kind of silly, but people do ask for silly things. So if you didn't have something like this, you would have to basically paint a still image in Photoshop, bring it in, mask it over the areas you wanted to cover, which of course is a little bit painful, takes some time. So rather than do that, you would instead just go to uh, tear off our brush here, use our clone tool directly on the video, and what I have to do is just click once to set where I clone from and then just immediately paint. So I can adjust the clone position again by holding down Alt. Uh, that one was no good, so I can delete the last stroke. Or well, over here, clone like this. And then immediately deselect the strokes, scrub through and see the results without having to do any round tripping in and out. Okay, so you probably want to see the tracking in action. And uh, this is next example. Let's say that the director or whoever was like, oh, I don't like this little bit here and I don't like your earring. So let's get rid of those. Um, again, we're going to use the clone tool here. And I adjust the size. Now I don't need a color in this case, I'm just cloning. So I'm just going to go and again, hit Alt to set my um, clone source. Now it's important to note you can change the clone source between every stroke. So in this case, I want to clone from oh, no, oh, just here. And yeah, just do a little bit like that, a little bit more. Right, so now that I've got the, uh, the strokes there, I can turn those on and off. And then I would just hit the track button. Just like that, hit the track button, and you'll see that applied with those gone, following the motion, just like in our other tracking products. Okay, so let's just quickly go over what tools we have, and then I'll show you one more example. Uh, so, of course, we've got color, uh, color brush. Now, you might think that's not very useful because obviously, you know, you're going to get stuff like this that doesn't look very nice. It can be useful for certain types of, of uh, task. If I say I wanted to put a little bit of color into her face, I could draw something like this and then go, okay, I want to make it, first of all, take the alpha down and then change the blend mode to get something interesting. Now I'd have to play with the colors a bit so it doesn't look like a bruise, but I could make it kind of look like she was blushing a bit, put some more uh, color in there. Let's just play with that tiny bit. And I actually go back to the other, Blend mode was better. So using the different blend modes and opacity, you can still do some useful things just with a flat color tool. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Now, of course, there's now a, there's a blur tool. So that can be very useful in certain circumstances. Again, I can just do that, hit the track button, and that's following the track. Not useful in this particular case, but just giving you an idea. Uh, reset that. and a sharpen tool, which definitely can be very useful if uh, you have something that the, you want to bring attention to or a little bit of a focus problem. Of course, sharpen can't actually bring real detail back, but it can give the illusion of detail. If I just say, okay, I'm going to here. Now that's way too strong. So I'm going to take this down, 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 down. Okay. It's still too strong, but anyway, let's just turn that on and off again. 
track, no problem. Now I could also have uh, multiple strokes from different tools tracking here. So I could do a little bit of sharpen and of course then I could clone at the same time and just say, okay, let's uh, clone from here to here, size down, down a little bit more, right? And then that's tracking the different tools combined in one shot with one plugin. Okay, so get rid of that. Now we also have a smear tool, pull things around, blow in different directions, of course also with tracking. Uh, the warp tool is going to be quite fun for certain types of tasks, so I can basically just pull things around. Change the shape of her eyebrows. Yep, let's lift this one up a bit here. And again, track. Following it. If I just want to turn that on and off to see what it's doing, you can see the effect I've done there. Last example, here's our lovely couple staring at the sea. And it's all great, uh, but we don't like too many boys here. This one's distracting. So we're going to get rid of some of these. Um, again, this would be the clone brush which you can use quite a lot. Uh, we will have a couple of variations of the clone brush in the first release, so there'll be more tools as well. This is not the final set. Okay, so uh, adjust the clone position. Uh, adjust the size a little bit. Now I'm going to just oh, get rid of that. And here, yep, and I don't want this one either. Oh, a little bit more from here, that's better. Now I can turn that whole thing on and off so you can see the difference. And again, let's just hit track button. So there you go, I hope you can see the potential for super quick fix ups. Um, it's coming summer, Northern Hemisphere summer, and also other good things coming from Cornmelt soon. Thanks.